Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to uh, solve a nonlinear partial differential equation using invariant of a symmetry generator. So, we will continue from the previous video in which we convert a PDE into ODE. That is, uh, we convert a um, we convert this PDE into this ODE by these invariants and you uh, follow the previous video how we find these invariants there is a symmetry and I was writing a symmetry again the symmetry was partial by partial T plus partial by partial X plus partial by partial U this is a symmetry generator admitted by this OD, uh, this PD, sorry, and uh, these two are the invariants of these this symmetry. So we use this uh, these invariants pi one pi two, and get this equation. So this is OD, and now we want to solve this. So uh, let's start. Um, If uh, double dash minus f dash and minus one minus f dash square equal to zero. So let f dash be z and double dash be z dash. So that mean this is z dash minus z minus uh, so 1 and minus uh, z square and plus uh, to z equal to 0 so I evaluated this square and put this f dash to z. So we get uh, z dash and is equal to z square minus z and plus one. This situation, this is dz over z square minus z plus 1 and on this side I have d phi 1 because f dash was a function of phi 1 so integrating at both sides on both side we get a constant c1 here and by completing so I write it again a little bit this is z minus 1 by 2 whole square plus under root 3 by 2 square is exactly this thing and here is phi 1 plus c1 so here we get um, um, 2 by under root 3 10 inverse z minus 1 by 2 over under root 3 by 2 is equal to 5 1 plus e1 on simplification uh, we get uh, this thing simplifying for z so we need z from this equation you see here is z 
So on simplification for z, we get this thing z is equal to 1 by 2 plus under root 3 by 2 tan um, under root 3 by 2 into phi 1 plus c1 that is z but we see z is a British so that is 1 by 2 plus under root 3 by 2 10 in 10 under root 3 by 2 phi 1 and plus c1 that's it integrating this equation for, uh, for f so f is equal to 1 by 2 phi 1 plus under root 3 divided by u second oh not second here is log um, minus log so i'm cutting this minus log of uh, cos under root 3 by 2 phi 1 plus c1 and divided by under root 3 by 2 so this will cancel with this and plus uh, integration constant c2 so f is equal to 1 by 2 phi 1 minus natural log of cos under root 3 by 2 phi 1 plus c1 and here is another bracket that's it and plus c2 so i write on the next slide this again f is equal to 1 by 2 phi 1 minus natural log so i take the square bracket here is cos then a bracket under root 3 by 2 and here is again a bracket and here is phi 1 plus c1 2 bracket close and the square bracket close and here is c2 so <coughs> uh, we see we start from this equation phi 2 is equal to f of phi 1 so this implies here is phi 2 1 by 2 phi 1 minus natural log square bracket cos under root 3 by 2 phi 1 plus c1 and plus second integration constant <coughs> now put phi 1 phi 2 you see phi 2 phi 2 was u uh, minus x and phi 1 was t minus x see the previous slide natural law square bracket cos under root 3 by 2 here is the bracket phi 1 is t minus x and plus c1 bracket close square bracket close and c2 so i'm writing again u is equal to x plus 1 by 2 t minus x minus natural log square bracket cos under root 3 by 2 t minus x plus c1 square bracket close plus c2 you see this is the solution invariant solution of the given differential equation this is the solution of the nonlinear pde 
you can check it that this is uh, the the correct answer of the given differential equation okay thank you